Cooking with Lubu. Dr. Mundo's monstrous muffaletta. It's a muffaletta. It's a Cajun ham and cheese sandwich. Uh, massive monster Hulk Mundo, the whole nine yards. Uh, with some burning agony sauce. Burning agony sauce. CC reduction. Hot mouth. Great flavors. Uh, we got the sandwich out here. I go went ahead and put out my ingredients. Uh, this is an olive tapenade styled spread that goes on a muffaletta. You can find it sometimes at local stores. Uh, muffaletta spread. It's got uh, just some of the ingredients. It's got a lot of ingredients in it. Uh, Kalamata olives, red pitted olives, uh, pickled onions, carrots, pepperoncini. Uh, I put lemon juice in mine. Uh, man, there's so many ingredients. You can find it. Capers, lots of capers. It's the only time you see something you go, ooh, capers, delicious. Uh, <laughs> it's got a little mushroom in there too. Uh, but it's a, it's a really nice spread. Uh, it's got some great flavors to it, even if, I don't know if you care about the look of it. But uh, people who eat Cajun food know, can't judge it by the looks. It's going to taste great no matter what. I got my buttered bread here. Buttered bread. Uh, I'm going to use Swiss on this one right here. So I got some Swiss cheese. You can tell it's Swiss because of the holes. Swiss cheese. Uh, as I posted in my nutrition thread, Swiss cheese is one of the five healthiest cheeses you can get. Provolone is not, but provolone's pretty good too. Uh, provolone's good taste. We're going to put provolone on there. Uh, I got some Genoa salami. I'm going to do three pieces of that because that's, that's enough. That's good. Actually, we're going to do four pieces because I don't know how to count. Just like uh, Dr. Mundo. So, boom, four pieces of salami. Uh, this is mortadella. It is a thinly sliced Italian style meat. It's very tasty. It's got a prominent flavor profile to that. We don't want to use a lot of it, so we just put one little thin slice there. Perfect. Uh, I got three slices of honey baked ham. Mm -mm, honey baked ham. This is boar's head. You can get whatever kind of honey baked ham you want. I like boar's head. Uh, I think it's really good. That's just my choice. I know it's a little more expensive, but. You know, I got money to burn, so I gotta get all them harrowing skins too. Shit. So, boom, I got my olive tapenade here. We're just gonna throw that down. And this typically is, it's got like spice to it because of the ingredients in the olive tapenade, but it's not a necessarily spicy sandwich. You're just gonna get a lot of different flavors there from all of the different ingredients. And I'll post like a good recipe link on the page. Uh, that you can find your own, but it generally is easier to find like some already bottled stuff, unless you really want to go the whole nine yards. There's a lot of there's a lot of ingredients, it's a lot of work. Uh, you need a food processor if you don't have a food processor to make it. I'm in luck because I do have a food processor. So we take that, boom, sandwich, panini press, or you can use you know a stove, some butter, whatever. Take that, place that on my panini press. Put that in there. Perfect. That's going to cook for a few minutes. We're going to go over here and show you the sauce that I've made. Uh, this is the burning agony sauce. Uh, I was thinking of making it infected cleaver sauce, but you don't want anything in a kitchen called infected cleaver. That's just words you want to keep out of your kitchen in general. Uh, this is the infected. This is infected. This is burning <laughs> agony. It's pretty fucking hot. Um, what is in this is uh, pureed chipotle peppers in adobo with a healthy amount of pumpkin spice and brown sugar and what you end up with that is like a really super subtle sweetness on the front end uh, that kind of just you know is there you know there's a different, different cup of sauce and then it's like super burn malty kind of it's it's different you know you understand what pumpkin tastes like but but when you add that hotness to it that heat uh, I think that you get just this really awesome flavor that you aren't familiar with in most American cuisine um, and it really just goes super well with the sandwich uh, as a dipping sauce. Or you can use it, you know, in a lot of different stuff. Uh, we have people ordering it on chicken wings and chicken fingers and such tonight. Uh, and they really liked it a lot. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic sauce. It is really hot. Uh, if you're going to get chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, understand that that is pretty hot considering what most the average consumer is going to eat. Uh, but you can cut it, you know, with different stuff. Cornstarch, if you're going to use it for the sauce. Always thickens it up, water, milk, whatever. Um, and that's what it's going to come down to. So, I'm going to plate it, because I'm going to eat it, because that's what I do. 
Uh, shout out to Oh My Goodness, who always watches my videos. Mike Lego at Riot Games is the best. He always watches my videos. He streams with the rest of the Riot art team sometimes on the Three Knuckle Fist stream on Twitch, twitch.com slash Three Knuckle Fist. Please check them out and support them because they're the, they're the best rioters. I said it, Morello. What are you going to do about it? Be, a, be, be as good as them. So, take a knife off my fancy cleaver rack. I would throw one like Mundo, but uh, in the reality of the situation is that's fucking dangerous. <laughs> Don't throw knives. This could stand to be sitting on there for another 30 seconds, but I don't really give a shit because I'm hungry and it's my video and I can make it as short or long as I want. So we're going to do that. We're going to cut it right across the middle. Nice little fancy uh, diagonal cut there. And if you come in here, you can see that you get this awesome, really pretty like layers of the cheeses and the meats and the tapenade. You know, and that's just fantastic. I like to serve this with onion rings on the side. That's just a personal favorite. You know, fries and tots work fine too. A little cup of my burning agony. Use as needed to break CC. You should get everybody at the bar to say hi. Don't forget your mercury treads. Yeah, let's do that. We're never open when we film yeah, this. Yeah, we're never open. Oh, and there's nobody at the bar. <laughs> they all are playing Soul Calibur. They're all playing Soul Calibur, uh, which I can't fault them for. So that's it. I'm going to take a bite of my sandwich. I'm going to let y'all be on your way. So I'm going to take this here. Take my spoon. I do what I want. Just a little bit. Don't need no burn. Hot face. God damn, that's good. I'll see y'all later.